when i was getting into robotics roles i thought that the only thing that the robotics companies are looking for are a lot of robotics projects and programming and github profiles and that's it there is nothing more to it but after some work with different companies i found out even after my own hiring stage that i was looking for robotics engineer for my company i found out that one person that you are going to add into your company is going to affecting the whole company so you have to look into different features of that person not only just programming and robotics so in this video we are going to explore different categories what you should be preparing when you are going to be working with robotics people team or a company or a robotics product Starting with the first one, the first one is teamwork. When you are being hired into a team, you are going to be working with another person who is going to be spending upon you. The person is offloading some work to you and what in return he needs, he needs communication. When you are in an interview, one of the most important thing people are judging is the communication. You have done 50 projects for mobile robot, 10 projects, drone 10 projects. But the thing that they want to understand is communication. As you might not be always talking to a technical person, you are going to be talking to a manager non-technical person, a product owner, non-robotics developer. In all of these communication, you should be able to express your thing. So not just writing code, you should be able to express the thing. And that is the one of the most important thing that you have to do, which is the first thing in the interview that you have to perform on. The second thing is relevant experience. There are two types of companies in robotics that I have experienced. Product company that are making a product robot like Tesla, humanoid robot, KUKA, robotic arms, mobile robot by clear path. So these are product companies. Then there are services companies. Services companies are getting projects for different companies of robotics and solving and creating solutions and MVPs and these kind of stuff. Product companies are specific to a product. Services companies require general experience. So you have to target based on these two categories. Services companies are a lot as compared to product companies. So when you're applying at a product company, you have to focus on their product. So if you're targeting a mobile robotics company like autonomous mobile robots, clear path, let's say. So you are not going to be working on humanoid robots in your research and projects. You're going to be working on mobile robots and understanding kinematics, dynamics, its autonomous behavior for mobile robotics. So when you apply, your experience for their product is going to relate. Otherwise, humanoid is a totally different game and you are working on drones. And in the interview, they talked about different things. For example, if you are targeting a drone company, you should be able to talk about R2 Pilot, PX4, communication, Mavlinks, things like that, which are not particular for mobile robots, but for drones, they are particular. So these kind of things that you have to be very careful when you are working with a product company. Another thing, indoor and outdoor category of the robot. So make sure that you understand the product and you are working in projects that are similar to their products. So that increases a lot of chances to get hired. Coming to services company. Now services companies are going to require different experiences from you. Drones, mobile robot, robotic arms, your software development. Services company require more of an experience than a product company in my experience because they are focused and the services companies have a wider range so they judge you through as mostly through software development practices and not by robot type so you can work out by yourself if you are good at software and you can deploy onto different types of robots so software development practices is what most important in services companies in my experience and one of the most important thing, if you have worked with mobile robot, then drone and robotic arms, all these three will give more positive effect on the services companies as compared to a specific type of product company. The next part is software development quality. Now hardware is created most of the time only once or hardware teams are different. Robotics software teams are totally different and they are, are continuously iterated. When the hardware is ready, it's costly iteration. Software is not that much costly iteration. What you need to do is to be responsible. People are looking to hire who are responsible for their work. Let's understand through this analogy that there are number of people in the company that combined their efforts and wrote a book. Now you as a software developer are going to bring one page that you have written going to add it into a specific part into that book now this is important because your work is going to go inside of that book and the whole book is going to be affected by that when you are going to paste that page into the book you have to create some space and it 
is something that will affect the whole experience of the product in the case book so that is the responsibility every software developer has so if you are starting out you have to be able to understand the bigger picture of your company's software and if you want to add certain thing you are going to write code test it and document it and then put it inside of the whole software base and not break other people's work so there are qa testers that perform that part but you have to be very careful and responsible for your work and it's just number of lines that you write now the thing is documentation is very desired from a robotic software developer because you might be doing a work in let's say 2020 and your work is accepted into production quality of your robot now the product is live then after two years a person come into the company and you have left the company the person is going to take your work and extend it add more to it they cannot call you and ask you for what you have done please provide me details they are going to read the documentation that you have done so this is very important to work and document your work without documentation the work is of not much importance and this is very important because we think that writing code is one of the most important thing but if you can't explain or communicate it through a document it's not going to be that much useful so in simple terms the steps that i have explained are going to help you in your robotics roles and robotics interviews and prepare according to the company that you are targeting and research about the company what they do do they provide service or they build products so just make sure that you have all the check boxes done and focus on the quality of your work and show responsibility of your work with documentation